It's 44,447 SD. Two years ago, a cult called the Purity of Light devastated Nortender, believing they would usher in the return of a benevolent god. A corporal named Tahar put an end to their doing. Your Erev, a former general of the Nortandian army, as you spent the past 12 years stationed in Imperia, a country far from your homeland, the purity wars passed you by. You don't mind. You had your own shadows to chase.
It's been three years since you lost your regiment and the Empyrean village, but the nightmares still haunt you. Night after night, you jolt awake, drenched in sweat, pulse hammering against your wrists. Even though your mind does its best to suppress and distort the memories, a part of you is aware that you probably deserve it. It's your fault. You know that much. But why? One day, you decide to see a Dreamweaver in hopes of finding an answer. Probably a bunch of hogwash. But the drowning will clutch at a straw. Uh, what? What is this? Where are we? In your dream, Erev, as I told you. You allowed me to enter it so that I can help you. Wait. This is the desert? But it looks nothing like the real place. Because your mind is aware. This world is an interpretation of the events. To your dreaming self, it looks just like the real one. Now, tell me, what happened that day? But I told you, I can't remember. My memory, it's all foggy, warped. Even so, try. There was a battle. The Dawn Reaper orcs had been terrorizing Imperia for years. And this was Judgment Day. I was on my way to an outpost in the desert to meet my division. portal you traverse represents a step deeper down into your memory. That you were able to activate this one is a good sign. Hmm. I don't think I ever saw these in my normal dreams. As I said, this is because you're aware of the fact that you're dreaming. The portals are part of your mind's abstract representation of the events. I see. This way. And these creatures? What are they? Symbols of your struggle. Just continue, General. Your memories will return the deeper you go. What do we have here? Yes. Move it. that you met there? Uh, a local, I think. A villager. Let me try to remember. Yes? General Erev, that's you, isn't it? Yes. Are you the guide from Kaval? Yes. Taba. Taba Segewa. 
The mayor said the orcs are headed for our village. Is that... is that true? A small horde, yes. But they won't arrive before nightfall, and we can handle them. My division and I are gonna protect you. Oh, Guardians. So it's true. Why, though? Why would they attack us? We're just a small village. I don't know. Maybe to stir up the rural population. Either way, Colonel Rickus, my second-in-command, is already on his way to the village to set up defenses. We'll stop by our outpost to gather the rest of my division. Follow me. Of course. Ah, uh, and General, I would like you to have this. It's a present from us, the people of Carvel. You know, as a token of thanks. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thanks. What present? What did she mean? An amulet. It was a trinket, some kind of charm. Stay close. What do you need? Out of the way. Look out! Dawn Reapers, how can they be so close to the village already? Probably just a scouting troop. Let's push on. General, there you are. We were starting to get worried. Mother? Kieran, what are you doing here? He's serving in my division. Oh. So you're the Nortandian general my son is always rhapsodizing about. I had no idea. Mother. It's fine. Colonel, what's your status? Rick has already went ahead to the village and we should follow as soon as possible. Well, we would be ready to leave, but there are two problems. First of all, we recently received a report from an Empyrean scout that conflicts with our own information. Apparently the horde heading for Cavill is much larger than we thought, it's probably not my place to say, but maybe we should ask General Karos for help? Hmm, no. Cavill's situated on a plateau, so it's easy to defend. But isn't it... What's the second problem? Well, there's a detail of orcs a couple of miles north from here. They're blocking the path to Cavill. Another scouting group, probably. All right, let everyone know I'm taking command. Yes, sir. Well, then. Let me summarize. You were traveling with an Imperium local named Tava, and were bound for her village Cavill, which you suspected the orcs were going to attack that very night. Most of your troops were already there, and you were about to follow. Yes, and we had to take out an orcish scouting party to get there. I'm ready.
Need scouting? What is it? What? Good idea. Ah, uh, that should work. I'm listening. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. Building completed. to it. Men, the barracks are ready. Pick up your arms.
That should work. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. All right, then. Let's get to it. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. So much to do, so little time. This will be a masterpiece. Building completed. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work.
this. Chop, chop, man. Be a master to work. Commander, we've finished researching a new technology. Chop, chop, man. Let's get to work. All right, then. Let's get to it. Tiara's blessings. Did you say something? At your command. Commander!
for a briefing. Yes. <laughs> Awaiting your orders. Yes? Everyone's armed and ready. Let's deal with those orcs. Music to my ears. Lead us, General. What is it? Yes. Would you like to push for a change? Where to? I. What is it? I'm ready. These nails are rusty. Somebody get me new ones. She's ready to fire. Go ahead. Stay close. All right. We'll be fast. out of the way. What is it? I'm listening. Would you like to push or change? Fire! I... Yes. Let's Would you like to push for a change? Shop, shop, brothers. Let's get this over with. Commander. What is it? He's ready to fire. All right, Commander. We'll be fast. Did you say something? What? Wow, chop, chop, brothers. Let's get this over with. Somebody get me new ones. Hit them. Let's make this quick. Good. Open fire. Our cows are so strong. These nails are rusty. Somebody get me new ones. Hit them where it hurts. They won't know what hit them. Open fire! Shop, shop, brothers. Let's get this over with. Did you say something? Not a fire! Fair enough, good. Let's make Our this cow quick. Hit them where it hurts. They won't know what hit them.
They're in for a surprise. This is it. Our population is at maximum capacity. We need to expand. Our population is at maximum capacity. We need to expand. Do one. 
The first battle, yes. That's when things get muddy. Well done. Now let's not waste any more time. Colonel, let everyone know we're making for Cavill. I won. General Arev. General Arev? Who are you? Uh, Private Rogo. I'm, uh, I'm the scout. There are two more Orcish troops in the area, and they're headed for this outpost. We're just about to leave for Cavill. And they'll notice our trail and ambush us from behind. Damn it. Rickus is waiting for my orders. All right. Colonel, you deal with the orcs around here. I'll go on ahead to Cavill. Alone? But what if they find you? What about the path through the jungle? The secret one? I could show him the way. It's still dangerous. For both of you. I appreciate your concern, Colonel. But I need to be there to lead the defense. Take care of the orcs, then follow. Of course, General. Forgive me. I didn't mean to overstep my bounds. Tiara, watch over both of you. Be careful, son. Oh, I'm proud of you. General, don't be angry with my son for being so stubborn. He's always been like that. A head to crush trolls with. That's all right. He has a strong will. That's one of the reasons I promoted him. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. What's this? Here. What? What's this? Why can't we go on? That's when my memory fades. Why? Because you're a coward, Era. Isn't it obvious? Because you're running from the truth. What the hell are you talking about? We need to catch up to Colonel Rickus or else... Oh, we did catch up with your Colonel, General. We did catch up. And then you killed us. Now come on, don't look at me like that. I know you're trying to forget, but it doesn't work that way. We can bury the corpses of our little secrets, but sooner or later, we start smelling the rot. Why do you think you come here every night? You're looking for forgiveness. <laughs> but guess what, Eric? There is none for people like you. So wake up, General. Inside, you're as dead as we are. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up! Two years later, though no one told you the reason for your recall, you saw it as a chance to turn the page back to Nortender after ten years in Imperia. A fresh start away from it all. Now, your visit to the Dreamweaver is long past. You have crossed the Sea of Dreams and are traveling with Ambassador Jarus, the right hand of the Queen, whose mission is to escort you to Greykeep, where you will finally learn why you've been ordered back. Wake up, General! What's... what's going on? Where am I? Nortander. The Golden Road, to be more precise. You dozed off. I would have let you sleep, but then you started talking. A nightmare, was it? Yes. I can relate. Anyway, I can only imagine how this must be for you. One day you're in Imperia, the next you're on a ship back to Nortander by order of Her Majesty. Quite the change of scenery, isn't it? I guess you could say that. How much farther to Greykeep is it? Just a stone's throw. We should arrive by... Ambassador! Ambassador Jarrus! What's the matter? Something's happening. We found a dead soldier in the woods down south, and Commander Reinhardt's gone missing. Someone must have attacked them while they were taking a walk in the forest. Bandits? I doubt it. They wouldn't dare attack a caravan of the Royal Army. All right, seems like the break is over. 
We need to find out who did this and save the commander. General Erev, you're in charge until we find Reinhold. You're not a fighter, are you? You should stay here with the soldiers. Your concern is appreciated, but actually, I'm a mage. Not the best on EO, but I can handle myself. Hmm. All right. At your own risk. If not bandits, then who did this? Orcs, maybe? As I said, this doesn't make any sense. Nor Tander's at peace. What was your commander doing sauntering around the forest anyway? The caravan is his responsibility. I don't know, but Reinhold has a reputation for being careless at times. It doesn't matter, though. We have to make sure he's all right. Who are you two? You're not from the Royal Army. These are the mercenaries we hired over in Wolfgar. They can be trusted. I'm flattered. Though we've been around for a while, I'm surprised you didn't notice us. Can't the soldiers take care of this? They could, but I'd rather have them protect the caravan. All right. Where's the body? South. Just a few steps from the road. We'll show you. What is it? Hmm. What's yes. this? Want to trade? You know how to bargain, don't you? Yes. Where to? I'm ready. once. No one here. Farther down south. May I assist? Out of the way. You're sure of this? Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
What do we have here? Hmm, what's this? And definitely dead. Tiara guide your soul boy. Hmm. Looks like he was killed by a blow to the head, doesn't it? It's also the only injury, so there wasn't much of a struggle. Someone surprised him. But who? And where did they take Commander? Now! For Windholm! By the ambush! Defend yourselves! I was thinking the same thing. Do you have any explanation for this, Ambassador? I didn't know Windwall and Nortander were at war. We aren't. This, uh, it must have, it must have to do with the death of King Rorik. Ever since he died, the dwarves have shut themselves off. But an ambush? It doesn't make sense. Well, whatever their intentions, if they killed that soldier, they must have also taken the commander. We need to find him. To me, it looked as though they came from up north. Let's see if there are more of them. And stay wary. Hammer. Wait, we crush them. Damn it. Healing now. There. See the beards? Come on. Uh. 
Lead on. What What's have? that? Hmm. Uh, an old mine, maybe? I... I don't know. Either way, I, I don't see anywhere else those dwarves could have come from. Come on, let's go down and find Reinhold. What now? As you descend the weathered ladder, the air ripe with moss and earth, weariness overcomes you. When you boarded the ship, you had hoped to leave war and fighting behind you. At least for a while. Seems like you were wrong. Nor curse me. Could this be... What? King Breaker's tunnels. Ah, uh, I, I had no idea. Either way, now probably isn't the time to appreciate the scenery. Let's find the commander. What is it? Need me? I'm listening. Hold on. Why are there dwarven tunnels in the middle of Nortander? Because they are the leftovers from another era. One where the dwarven empire spanned all the way from Wolfgar to Lar. Underground, at least. I'd love to tell you more, but now isn't the time. No argument there. Let's move. And keep your weapons ready, whoever those dwarves were. There are bound to be more. What do you need? I will follow. Yes, this seems right. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't! Blazes, what do you want from us? You're completely insane! Oh, you're a slow learner, aren't you? That was the commander. Damn it. Let's hurry. Yes. More of them! I am nimbler than I look. General? What do you require? All right. Hmm. Interesting. Here. That's me. There. That's the commander. Ambassador? Cut him loose. 
Ah, oh, thank you. Where's the man you were talking to? Are there more? Yes, he's right here. So, the Gravel Eater's friends came to get him. How heartwarming. What is it? What do you want? Oh, that's simple. To take back what's ours. Let's make this simple. Hand over the cargo and I'll let you run. Refuse or play dumb like this commander of yours and we'll kill you. There is no cargo! Fifteen crates of the finest moon silver ingots and you're delivering them. Now tell us where the crates are or die. of shit! Damn it! Destroy those totems! I am ready. Is there something you need? I can handle it. What is it? This is how it ends. Let me focus! Stones! You're really starting to get on my nerves! Tiara's breath. What? Ah, oh, you'll get a good return on your investment. What do you need? That hurts. Go ahead. This is it. I need help. Need me? What do you require? They killed one of our... Uh, oh, well fought, Gravel Eater. Well fought. Now, unless you want to end up as a charred corpse, I suggest you take a step back now. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fire rune I have in my left pocket. A fire rune made by the best pyromancers of Windwall. Take one more step, or speak one more lie, and I'll blow this place and all of us to smithereens. Now, one last time, where is the cargo? Are you that eager to die? If I die, it's for something greater than myself. I have no fear, Gravel Eater. The Granite Halls will welcome me. You're bluffing. Try me. Oh, Blazes, how many times do I have to tell you? We aren't transporting anything. There is no cargo. You gravel eaters never learn, do you? All right, I... Wait, it was a ruse. What? It was a ruse. We intentionally planted the rumor that this caravan would be transporting the goods to divert raiders. The real caravan left three days earlier and has already arrived in Grey Keep by now. You're lying. I'm not. Talk to your spies in Greykeep and they'll confirm it. I don't understand. Where does this moon silver come from and why do you want it? I have no idea. We bought it from a mine up in Wolfgar to supplement a new division of the Royal Army. We. All moon silver belongs to the dwarves. That's how it's written in dwarven lore. That's your justification for raiding a caravan. You're either mad or a fool. Wrong. I'm a dwarf who refuses to live under the thumb of his self-proclaimed human masters anymore. Wait, you knew about this all along. Why didn't you tell us? Queen's orders. I'm sorry. All right, there you have it. There is no cargo. You lost men. We lost men. Now put down your weapon and let's end this bloodshed. There's been enough. <laughs> How very thoughtful of you. All right. It's your lucky day. We'll do it your way. Let me tell you this, though. We're not done yet. Far from it.
Arian's quills. What a mess. What a strange mess. That's one way to put it. Moon silver, gravel eaters? What on EO has gotten into these dwarves? Well, they believe they're in the right. Guardians know why. I doubt they do. The dwarves were always reclusive, but peaceful. As I said, it might have something to do with their late king's death. But uh, that's just guesswork. I hate to say it, Reinald, but this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't gone off into the forest. That soldier would still be alive. What were you two doing out there anyway? You were supposed to be watching the caravan. None of your business. And watch your mouth, General. There was no way I could have known that dwarves were going to attack us on the golden fucking road. Commander, please. The General is right, but this is neither the time nor the place for heated arguments. Wouldn't you agree? Well, whatever we do, the Queen needs to know about this. Agreed. Let's take a moment to collect ourselves and then go back up. We need to tell the soldiers what happened. You might also want to let them search the perimeter. It's unlikely, but there might be more crazy dwarves around. Fair point. Reynolds, make the arrangements. Once that's taken care of, we'll march on to Great Keep. And good work, General. You handled that well. As you resume your journey, the caravan marches in silence. Dwarves? Never before has there been animosity between Windwall and Nortender. You are pulled from your thoughts as Greyfell's silhouette appears on the star-speckled horizon. Three hours later, you lie down in your new bed in the keep. The Queen requested to see you at dawn tomorrow. Sli General Arif? Yes. Who? Aria Alathiel, first mage of the Circle. I know you were expecting Ambassador de Breos, but Her Majesty wanted me to welcome you instead. The Aria? The one who fought alongside Corporal Tahar? That one, yes. Impressive. I heard a lot about you. I'm flattered, though I'm sure the tales make it all sound a lot more glorious than it was. I'm not a hero. Well, it's about time somebody finally tells me what this is about. Trust me, I'm as curious as you. Uh, and just call me Iria, all right? Circle mage or not, I've never been a friend of fancy titles. Come now. This way. Stay close. Hold on. Yes, puny pale skin, you. Go over here real quick, will you? Are you talking to me? Oh, who else would I be talking to? You're the only one in this accursed lair of cretins who looks worth having a conversation with. Oh, fair enough. Well, maybe that was a little too harsh. This place just hasn't been particularly inspiring ever since I arrived, and it vexes me. Hold on, should I know you? Are you with the Wolf Guard? Am I with the Wolf Guard? Ha! <laughs> if anything, the Wolf Guard is with me. I'm Burgol the Magnificent, the most fabled smith on Eo. And no, no, no need to grovel or kiss my feet. I'm not into that kind of thing. But let us skip the small talk, shall we? I'm interested in that thing you're wearing, the amulet. It looks interesting. Uh, tell me. Where did a puny pale skin like you find such a treasure? That? Oh, it's a... Memento. A memento? Well, you seem to be misinformed. This is one of the most powerful relics on Eo. Well, could be, one day, with my help. I don't follow. Oh, why am I not surprised? Uh, in simplest terms, what you're wearing seems to be an Empyrean relic. Its power has faded, but I could reignite it, so to speak. Uh, let me have a look, will you? Okay, but don't break... Interesting. Yes, this might work. This might actually work. Do you know what a vengeful spirit is? A spirit that is vengeful? 
Ah, look at that. The puny pale skin has brains. Indeed, leaving aside the tragic stories of heartbreak and revenge, it's basically a ghost who refuses to die. Now, if you could manage to ascertain such a ghost's essence for me on your travels, I might be able to forge it into your relic and reawaken some of its powers. What do you say? What? You're brimming with gratitude? Why, no need to be. Just come back when you have the essence. Apparently there's one floating around in some grave in Windwall. I'll think about it. Excellent! Safe travels! Ah, and don't forget to burn the body of the deceased, will you? It's the only way to stop it from coming back to haunt you. The best wares from Kalea to Nordhander. Pleasure doing business with it? you. Come again. I'm getting new wares by the next moon's turn. <laughs>